Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you the trades that were posted on Monday, 30th of October 2023. These trades were shared by AA, who's trading Nasdaq CFD. As you see, the macro chart is in uptrend, but the price reached this area of static resistance, and when the price got rejected, it created a downtrend pattern in the structural chart. So this downtrend channel, so when the pullback of this downtrend channel got completed in the trading chart, he identified two areas of sell short entries based on algo 1 to 5 and enter and manage and close them with exit strategy number 1 with profit. So thank you AA for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by PM who is trading Dow Jones CFD. As you see the macro chart is in sideways wide range and the price got rejected at the static resistance again. So when the sellers came back again and this range of the structural chart broke down, this area of the downtrend was identified using the one minute trading chart and he entered several sell short positions and managed and closed them with exit strategy number one. So thank you PM for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by SH who is trading Nasdaq CFD. As you see the macro chart is in uptrend and when the price was in this area and the pullback got completed and this level broke up, she identified this area of uptrend using a smaller one minute trading chart and entered several long positions based on algo 1 to 5 and managed and closed them with exit strategy number 1 with profit. So thank you SH for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades are those that I have taken during the New York market session and the video with detailed explanation was sent to students yesterday. So I'm going to replay the video here for you. Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you the trade that I have taken today on Monday, 30th of October 2023. These trades were taken on NASDAQ, Dow Jones and S&P 500 futures. If we look at the macro charts, we see that the price opened with a gap and was fluctuating around the point of control and above the previous day close on all eminis and during the London session it started to go up and during the New York market session the price started to go up so during this initial uptrend wave I took several long positions around 940 on Nasdaq Dow Jones and around 10 o'clock on S&P 500 which was this wave of uptrend on all eminis and all these signals were copied by copy trader to multiple FX trader funds accounts and the results were positive showing profit factor of 2.5 with 77% win rate from the long positions taken and the average win to loss ratio of 0.73 the largest winning trade was 905 and the largest losing trade was $659 so hope these trades taken by the past system is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions have a wonderful day.